Hi, welcome back to Moose and Chemistry. Naming covalent compounds lesson number six. All right, I have a compound in front of me here, which is PI3. All right, well, first of all, let's determine if this is a covalent compound. So we look on the periodic table and we notice that this element is phosphorus. All right, and so we're going to spell it there. So phosphorus, and this is iodine. All right, both phosphorus and iodine are both non-metals. So if you have two metals chemically combined together, we get a covalent compound. All right, so let's go ahead and erase that information there because that's what we have. We have two non-metals combining. Okay, so now since we're using non-metals, we get to use Greek prefixes in the naming. So the first name is going to be phosphorus. Try iodide. So you can put double I's together here. All right, hey, why didn't you put mono here? Why don't we put mono there? Because we never use mono in the first name. Do not use mono in the first name. All right, let's go ahead and erase that. But we could always use Greek prefixes definitely in the second name, always. All right, so let's pick out another compound. that all raised up here real quickly there we go all right so now what if we get it written like this what if we see a word that's written like this carbon disulfide okay first of all how do we write that as a chemical compound well the element carbon is c and the element sulfur is S, and you see this die right here? That die means the number two. So this would be carbon disulfide, which would be called CS2. All right, let's try another one real quickly. Cool thing about writing covalent compounds is that they always use these Greek prefixes. All right, let's try this one. Oh, here's a good one. All right, here we go. We have SI to BR6. Okay, so now we have a 2 in front of the SI, and we have a 6 in with the BR. So this is going to be called disilicon. Hexa bromide. Pretty simple, huh? Okay, well, that's it. You guys be snarling. We'll see you back here at Moosin Chemistry.